I will just start the code of conduct section. We heard across many communities that there were some instances when uh, some, some members of the community didn't felt comfortable and we didn't find a ways or they didn't find ways to resolve the issue with other community members or, or certain parts of how communities run. A small group within and beyond if uh, got together a strong first version of a code of conduct that we can use to facilitate a very healthy collaborative work within and beyond our communities because it's very important that everyone can participate. We just wanted to make sure that this is the case. If Carl is here, maybe you can tell a little bit more about how it was created and, and what's more or less in it and what could be next steps for the community and for us. Awesome. Thank you, Balash. Um, can you click on the link of the Code of Conduct and scroll through it while I just talk through a couple highlights? So, hi everyone. My name is Carol Fowler. I sit on the DIFF steering committee and I'm co-founder and CEO uh, with Ori at Transmute. As Balash mentioned, at DIFF, we know that we're all working collaboratively to progress uh, SSI technologies towards real market adoption. And we also know from research that greater diversity leads to better outcomes and better products, including things like increased profitability and creativity, stronger govern governance, and better problem-solving abilities. So at DIFF, we believe that diversity of perspective is a requirement for building the best identity products that we can. Um, that said, like Balash also mentioned, disagreement is a necessary ingredient towards advancing these technologies. As we navigate this, many of us in the community felt that we needed a new and improved code of conduct. So the purpose of this new code of conduct is to foster the open and healthy productive culture at DIFF members need to grow and build together. And it's divided into three primary sections. The first section further describes the diverse and inclusive community that DIFF is aiming to foster with this code of conduct. Um, the second section details the types of conflict and behaviors that might negatively impact our ability to do that. And in many cases, these behaviors actively inhibit progress and silence voices that are critical to consider. And then the final section offers several specific recommendations for peer-to-peer -peer resolution and escalation if that ever becomes necessary. This section is meant to be really tactical and actionable. Um, and then finally, uh, just to reiterate again that this document was written collaboratively by a diverse group of DIFF members over the last several months. We also solicited broader feedback at the recent Internet Identity Workshop during a, a session specific to that. The industry that we've created together continues to evolve. Adherence to this code of conduct, we think will help ensure that we maximize the growth, um, contribution and progress. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Kirill. We're gonna release the code of conduct under a license that will enable anyone to further improve or reuse it for their own communities. Uh, because we know that this is something that can happen in any communities. This is a document that we, created in a way that it's applicable for similarly organized online and offline uh, meetings and communities. Please feel free to adopt it, comment, and let's improve it together. It will be hosted on GitHub. And we have a next step aspect. Kalia, can I invite you on to talk about what next steps we could do with the code of conduct that's important improving the health of, of our communities? One of the things that we articulate in this code of conduct, and as this was done in part based on feedback from the community, was to create a group of folks we we're calling community advocates, basically peers to support folks who want to raise an issue and don't necessarily know how to do so. We are looking for volunteers who are willing to play this role in the community, and we're also going to provide some training so that those folks aren't just uh, on their own doing this. So if you already naturally find yourself playing this type of role in technical communities that you're a part of, we'd really love to invite you to raise your hand and be a part of this group. I think the more folks who are in this role, the better, because it's, it's not about just sort of like there's one person to go to about quote unquote, code of conduct violations. We're trying to build a more responsive culture to address these things that could become violations well before they are quote unquote violations. This is part of that strategy. So if 
you would like to raise your hand and are interested in at least exploring the possibility of going through this. I don't think it'll be a lengthy training, but it will be a training and you'll be on a list somewhere on our site where folks know who to reach out to if they want to get support in helping address any issues that come up. If you are open to playing that type of role in the community, please click on that link and let us know. Part of this is we don't want all of the community conflict resolution to land on share shoulders. So this is part of building like a broader base of community capacity. So are there any questions about that from folk? I have a comment, Kalia. Thank you. Yeah. This is awesome. The, the thing that jumped into my mind and maybe it's useful for someone else is if you've ever watched like Congress work, there's parliamentarians that are know the, the, the procedures for various things, but aren't really necessarily involved in the politics of everything. And someone who's involved in a conflict can ask for the help of a parliamentarian who will help guide them through the necessary steps. And it's kind of like this, right? Like, hey, I've got a problem. I don't know what should really be done about it. Uh, can you help me? And, um, and, and that's a super useful thing, I think, in our community to have. So thanks for all of this, and, uh, and, and, and I'm excited. Awesome. Thank you very much.